गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन आई यू ऑल टू दी फर्स्ट ऑनलाइन लेक्चर ऑन द टॉपिक सर्कल्स विच इज देंथ चैप्टर इन क्लास टेंथ टूडे इज सेवनटीन ऑफ मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी नाउ चिल्ड्रन वी ऑल नो वट सर्कल्स आर इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट mainly three topics first is the relationship between a line and a circle if they both lie on the same plane by same plane i mean here say on the same piece of paper as i am doing so let us draw a circle we know that to draw the circle first we need a fixed point and with some fixed distance we draw a two dimensional shape each point of the two dimensional shape is at the equal distance from the fixed point o the distance between o and the circle is known as radius and generally represented by r circle is written as c in bracket o comma r where c stands for circle o stands for center and r stands for radius so in future beside writing circle in few of the problems i will be using this notation now shall you know, let us start with the topic let us draw few lines on the same plane where our circle is now what could be the relationship between these lines and the circle either the line will not touch the circle or line will just touch the circle at a single point or it will pierce through the circle like here we can see that the three lines namely l l dash and l double dash are there l dash touches the circle at point p where p is known as point of contact where l double dash pierces through the circle and touches the circle at two points q and r p is known as point of contact now based on the points of intersection their number we decide the naming of these lines the line which touches the circle at only one point is known as tangent whereas the line which intersects the circle at two points is known as secant in class 10th our main focus will be on the tangent its properties and theorems which underline the relationship between circle and the line let us come to our first property in this property we are going to check that from a single point of contact how many tangents are possible so first of all let us draw a tangent we are given a circle with center o and we have drawn a tangent now we will slightly rotate this tangent keeping the point p fixed if we do so we find that our tangent intersects the circle at one more point let us say this point is p dash similarly if we rotate more then another point of intersections come let us say p da double dash similarly if we rotate on the other side that is anti clockwise direction still we are getting one more point so tangent 
not anymore remains a tangent if we rotate it it becomes a secant this shows that at a point of contact the tangent is unique and it is only one this becomes the first property of the circle always remember we are talking about a single point of contact a circle may have infinite tangents at different point of contacts so here we can see that these are the secants and this secant has two point of intersection as p and p double dash therefore the learning from this activity is that single point of contact implies a unique tangent that is one and only one tangent this becomes our one property of tangents and which is a very very important property i hope you have understood this property well now children always remember that at a single point of contact one tangent now let us come to a theorem which says that it is given on page number 208 of your ncert book that at a point of contact the tangent and the radius are always perpendicular to each other the textbook statement is the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact these three words point of contact is very very important to understand this let us revise something from class 9th let us say you are going in a market and all of the sudden you find that a dog chasing you and you are having three ways to run first way second way and third way let us say second way is perpendicular to the exit from where you can escape now which path you will choose for obvious reasons we can see that best escape way is way 2 this has been a theorem of class 9th also which says that the shortest distance between a point and a line is the perpendicular line segment using this property we will try to prove that the radius is the shortest distance between the center and the tangent for that let us first of all draw a circle let us say circle has the center o now make a tangent let the point of contact be b a p so the point of contact will be point p let me inbox this area because it was only for understanding
now we are given that APB line is a tangent and we need to prove that the angle OPA is 90 degree that is OP is perpendicular to AB. So before starting the proof let us do a small construction join O and A. Now my task is to prove that OA is greater than OP. For this, let the distance OP that is also the radius of the circle as R. So in triangle OPA, let us say OP is equal to variable R where R stands for the length of the radius. So we will say OP is R centimeters. Now because OQ is also the radius, so it will also become R and OA is nothing but OQ plus QA. So it is R plus QA. It means OA is R plus something which means R is same as OP. So our OA is definitely greater than OP. Similarly we can prove OB is also greater than OP. OB is also greater than OP. Which means that our OP is less than both OA as well as OB. So it is the shortest distance. And we know that the shortest distance has to be the perpendicular distance. So our angle OPA has to be 90 degree. Hence it is proved. I hope you have understood it well. If you have any query, please do WhatsApp me or join the Zoom session. My number is 9763616738. Best of luck for the first exercise. Please do it nicely.